Okay, let's work with edit. We did the delete, it's working fine. Now it's time to work on our edit page. So if I go to product and now we need a button here first. So if I go to my index page, we, we, we basically we need the edit button here. So I think for now we will just put this button here. So we are using Laravel Collective. As I told you, we need to convert these buttons into Laravel Collective, right? So we need to link them. If I say link, link to route, and then uh, if we go to our terminal, and then route, we, we check the route list, products, and then the ID, and then edit. It will, basically this is the link. Right, we will use this uh, products uh, dot edit. So we can say products added, and then we of course we need to pass the ID of the product, which product you want to edit, and then your own classes. For example, we are using button uh, btn info here in that case, and of course btn small, and then. Of course we will add an icon for that so you can use font awesome and you can also use this themes built-in library for example ti pencil right and then just duplicate this and for details uh, for details page we will use let me just check the and this is the for detail right products dot show so products show the product uh, id of course and then list class and of course button would be primary success whatever you need and then we simply delete our commented buttons and if i check the output okay the buttons are working right now uh, let's just go to our controller and then let me just create a new method called edit that will just take simply our id and then written back or ID. Let's just test this. Okay, this is uh, our product ID five. If I click on edit button, now you can see it's showing us five, right? So simply, I will say product the class product and then find the ID and then written a view. Okay, let's just create a view. View is I think already created here details okay this is the view right so we will say written from admin products and then details then we will simply compact the product right and uh, if we uh, go to our index no we don't need to go to index we will go to detail and then simply I will just paste the create code paste all the create uh, codes markup and I'll call this edit product of course and then here as well edit product right and then the name of the button would be update product and then if I go to fields right fields are the same file that we are using uh, for our creating and we will for update we will also use this field right now this parameter this argument is for you know value for the value of the data for example I will see, uh, write ABC and then if I go to edit now you can see ABC is appeared so I'll just replace this with product name right there we go product name and product price and of course product description and for image yeah we will tackle this image problem inside controller because if, if the image already ex if the if user is changing the image then change the image if it's is not he or she is not changing the image then uh, upload the old image right so we will work uh, inside controller for this issue right it's not a big deal 
so if we came back to our products now you can see this these names are appeared here okay now let's just work on our update method and this will be fun right so if we public function and update method and of course this will just take three arguments uh, the request class and then the id right so if i just written the id right and then click on update oh yeah the image is required so in our update case uh, if we go to details oh i'm so sorry we, we will not we'll just rename this right just rename this and edit blade edit dot blade right and for details we'll work in the next video this should be added now you can see details is not found and then for that's why we'll change this added okay great the image is required now if we go to edit.blade.php and then oh yeah the url should be changed right the url uh, we will change the url if you check the route list for uh, update we will simply use two arguments right the url would be products right and then of course the id of product product id and then of course files would be true and one thing the method because uh, as i mentioned we are using a resource route so the method would be put because we are editing the data right the method would be put now it will uh, almost works so if we create a new method called Oh yeah, updates created. So we are returning the ID, and if I come back and click on update, the ID is here, right? Now uh, let's work with update. Okay, there are some very uh, say there are some logics that we need to cover. Okay, uh, first we need to find the product, right? Which product you want to edit, and then let's just validate the edit form. Of course we will validate the form and then check if there is any image right if there is image then of course we will use another logics to upload it and then of course updating the product right and then uh, store the message in session Uh, store a message in session and then of course redirect back redirect simply so let's just find the product and if I say product uh, product find the ID okay and it will find the product and then validate the form of course so we can say request validate and then pass an array for rules the name of the product is required and then price is of course required description of course required right and and we'll add the image because image is not required in this case if uh, and we will for image we'll work on these two logics right first we will check if the image if there is any image right if the user has uploaded the image then We'll say if request has file image right if if there is an image then we'll say check if the old image exists inside or inside folder then just delete the image right so we say we'll use a function which called file exists and then of course public path and then uh, the path is if you go to public and then uploads right this is our path so we can say uploads uploads right and then product image basically this is uh, the image of the product the, the it will basically taking the old image and then 
the name of the old image for example which is download and any image it could be just unlink this I mean to say this just delete this uh, delete the image from the directory right and the directory is uploads and then the name of the image which is product image right okay this will just uh, when we upload a new image this will just remove deletes this image just just replace the image right and delete the old image and then we will upload a new uh, updating the product we will just upload a new image right here the new image so images let's just request an image let's just save this image and then we can say image move new image inside our uploads directory and then get client original name right that's fine and then we can assign product image to the request image that we the new image basically right okay and then uh, we will uh, just up update because first we'll write all the logic and then we will check what what if there could be errors I think and then let's work on update the product right so simply product and then we will use the update method and then we will pass an array right for example name request Uh, the name is the product and price is request price and description request description and image just or image right okay uh, it will just update the image and then store uh, of course we need to store a message insert session so session request session the flash message product has been updated right and of course we'll redirect back return redirect back to products page right so let's hope for the best and check it if we go to products and click on update for example I want to update this product and let's just uh, say test product one 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 and update it oh yeah I think there's no update yeah this is updated but it is five right hello it's five only let me just check what's problem. Okay, let's just update the image. Let me just check the problem one by one. If I update this image, now you can see image is also working, but there's a problem with that. I'll check it. And price is also updated. The description is also updated. Now, if we update, for example, price to $2,000, now you can see the old image also exists right because we put the logic here okay let's just check this error okay let's just start debug uh, what's the problem name of the product it's for image Oh yeah, <laughs> the words product, request product, words product. I think this should be name. So again, if we go and edit this, MacBook Pro, and now it's fine, right? So our edit is complete. If we go and check our edit validation, you can see validation is also working here. And if we go to change the image and image thumbnail, all the things are working perfectly, right? And I click on update. Now you can see update is working and it is also uh, deleting the old images right if we okay let's just delete for example we have download the png yeah i think uh, 
let's just delete all of them okay now if I open the for example refresh there is no image for them and if I edit this MacBook and then upload an LED right now you can see this uh, 12 dot jpeg is uploaded and if I replace this for example I want to upload this image for that oh yeah I think this didn't delete the old image let's just check the problem real quick why it's not deleting the old image open my browser uh, text editor and then of course inside uploads and then unlink this oh yeah this is we need to add slash here and if I come back and just replace this image I think still it's not leading let me just fix the shoe Okay, let me just check it uh, oh yeah I think the slash is also missing here and then if I go uh, delete all the images from uploads and let's just check real quick okay refresh the page and edit this page edit the product and for example I want to add this image right now you can see 12.jpg is here and I want to update the image for example I want to upload upload this image and I need to remove this image right let's update this now you can see the 12 jpeg is deleted and download.png is replaced right so this was our edit page and i think it was a long video and, and just keep repeat right and if you are not understanding just just replay the video and you will you will understand it right so this was the edit page and i don't want to make this video more long so in the next video i'll simply work on edit product page right so see you in the next video